Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another Gumpla delivery video where uh, I'm not sure, actually I don't remember if there's any Gumpla in here or not, but as you can see I got to two boxes with some new stuff and it's kind of a bunch of different random things, so uh, I think there's probably some Gumpla related stuff. Gumpla is yet to be seen. I'm going to show you guys what we got in here. First off, a, another entry grade Gundam. This is actually the regular entry grade Gundam. The one that I reviewed before was the one that kind of came in that special set. This is the one that's uh, coming in the bag, but I think they're switching over to a box for this one going into the future. I'd seen that the future releases of this are going to be slightly more expensive. So I think the whole system of having this in a bag, I think is only temporary, maybe anyway, but I wanted to work on another one of those. So I got that. Yeah, a couple of the newer Pokemon, uh, Pokepla Quick kits here. So you guys saw me build and review the Eevee, or the uh, Mew kit, sorry, I should say. This is the Pikachu kit. I think this is the second version of Pikachu. The first one is the third kit in the line. Uh, it's the second version of Pikachu doing the, I don't know, kind of quick attack version or something anyway. Uh, and then also a new, uh, Pokepala Quick Eevee kit here as well too, seated version. I believe there's another new version of Pokepala Quick, Quick Eevee also coming out in the future as well too. I could be wrong about that, but I'll do a quick build and interview videos for those as well too. We got some new Converge stuff. This is the Converge Plus 01 set here. So let me see, I forget all exactly which are in here and it actually doesn't have them on the outside of the box but there's I believe there was four it's a set of four in here rather than like a normal set of ten and like a normal volume this is like a special volume uh, where it's like a little bit bigger ones that I guess were maybe not big enough to go into the EX line of Converge figures but maybe just in like a little bit kind of larger I believe there's like a Zeong and something else I'll put a picture up on the screen for you guys ah uh, yes and some other uh, little supplies stuff here so kind of mostly related to I don't know it's kind of weathering or something anyway. So Tamiya uh, Weathering Master sets uh, G and H, which are for skin tone. These are for figures. Let's see, G, yes. G has a salmon, caramel, and chestnut. And it sounds yummy, actually. Uh, set H has pale orange, ivory, and peach. So these are, you know, those uh, Tamiya Weathering Pigment uh, with like little applicator, applicator brushes that you can see. People use them like for weathering. Uh, but these are ones that are meant for uh, yeah, figures. I don't even though it still has like the tank on there. It's kind of weird, but got those. And also a light earth colored Tamiya weathering stick. I've not seen too much about these, but they seem kind of cool. So I wanted to get one and try it out. A weathering stick here. So I'll do an experiment with that. And I'll share that with you guys. And then some Gundam markers. As you guys know, I don't use Gundam markers, but I thought I would give them a try. Uh, just try to use them some more maybe in some reviews. I don't know. What do you guys think or at least just kind of use them every so often? So I got uh, black black gray and brown uh, Just Gundam markers here So I like doing my reviews without doing anything on the kits because of the five in my opinion The point of the reviews is to show you guys the kit exactly how it is straight out the box So I feel like doing panel lining on them is not showing them, you know, exactly how you guys are getting it I don't want anyone to Especially beginners, I think if you guys are experienced at all, you know, but especially like for beginners if they're coming across uh, My review and they, they see it and they see oh wow, it looks great And then they get the kit and they're thinking like oh, I didn't know I would have to do that uh, For those of you guys who know then you know, that's what you have to do But uh, I like to show the kids just straight out of the box without anything done to them Of course, I can always mention in the review like oh, I did some panel lining on this uh, but I don't know, what do you guys think? Panel lining in reviews, yes or no? I know it's helpful to help see the details on the kits, especially on like white parts, uh, but... Anyway, I didn't have any kind of markers, so at least for when I might need them or might want to use them, I picked up a few of those. Uh, some new decals here as well too, let's see. These new uh, gold Sakura decals here from HIQ look pretty cool. Even though you guys saw, if you saw my last delivery video, you know I certainly have no need for any more decals as I got like uh, 200 of them or something like that almost in the last one. But these were a new set that came out from HIQ, which looks really cool. I believe they're also available in silver, uh, but the gold ones look very cool. And then a couple of just Gundam decals, I was just looking for something else and just kind of came across these, uh, just a couple of Bandai's of like official Gundam decals. Again, something that I've got a ton of at the moment, but uh, these were some pretty cool ones that I thought uh, were actually not included in the bunch that I got recently. Last thing in here is a couple of books, which uh, both look equally very cool. So the first one is the Nomoken 
extra edition handbook of Gunpla modeling here, this one. So if you guys are familiar with the Nomoken books, it's a uh, series of books that are quite cool, very helpful. And so basically there's a ton of different like uh, tips, modeling tips and st stuff in here. So a lot of it's like for beginners, like for getting like making your kit to look good without fully painting it basically kind of things like that uh, but i thought there's probably some cool tips in here i mean even no matter where you are whether beginner intermediate or advanced there's still probably some cool tips and things to glean from books like this even if they're more geared for beginners which I, as far as i know i believe that's what this kit is kind of more for i think there's still probably a lot of interesting information to be found in here it's all in japanese of course uh, but i wanted to check that out so i'll check that out share that with you guys and then this book which is kind of another reason kind of why I wanted to get another entry grade kit was because kind of to go along with this book as well too. This new book from Hobby Japan that came out basically entirely about the entry grade Gundam. So it's just a book of tips, techniques. There's uh, sample builds in here from different modelers in Japan. So some really cool builds of the entry grade and then also some tips regarding the entry grade about, you know, just like how to paint different things and everything like that. So it's uh, half like a, a show book just looking at cool models and then half of it is or it seems like I mean like a good amount of this is also just like uh, tips for uh, modeling the entry grade specifically but I mean this again stuff that would apply you know kind of to anything so a lot two books here with a lot of really cool information to go through so I these are both books that I would love to do like a uh, a, a lengthy series of videos on rather than like just kind of like my normal book review what I would like to do is basically take one of these books and use it as like a template for doing uh, a bunch of videos related to what's covered in the book. So take like, if there's this part of the book is explaining how to do this one step, I would basically like to make a video version of what's covered here in the book because not everyone can maybe get your hands on the book. Also, it's all in Japanese, so I could, you know, sh actually show it in video and explain it to you guys in English rather than, you know, you trying to figure out what's going on here in Japanese. I know it's sometimes not the easiest thing to figure out. Uh, so that's what I would like to do with these. It's not something that I think I'll be able to do right away. I just have a ton of stuff on my plate at the moment. Uh, but that, I mean, both of these books just at a glance look like they're just, they've got a ton of really great information in them. So highly recommend the books uh, and I will try to, as soon as I can, do start working on some videos based on the information covered in these. But for now, let's check out the other box. I'm gonna keep this down on the floor because it's kind of big and getting crowded with stuff here on the table. But first off, a couple more entry grade kits. These are the entry grade Dragon Ball kits. I wanted to try these out as well too. Uh, I guess the, well, there's the entry grade Gundam and then the these Pokeplot kits are not technically entry grade even though that's kind of basically what they are. They're not using that official title. But we've got the Goku one, and I don't know if this, I think this is like Goku blue or something like that. Ultimately, I would like to paint these and I do not plan on using uh, blue hair. I'll probably just paint the hair black uh, like normal. It's a, just a cool kit, cool, simple kit. But entry grade, so they're fixed pose. They're not articulated or anything. It should be pretty simple. I mean, like with uh, uh, very similar to the Poké Black Quick kits where they're just uh, very few parts, very simple pose and not uh, no articulation at all. So anyway, you got the Goku and the Vegeta one there uh so those should be pretty cool as well and normally i don't really like dragon ball kits uh but those look pretty interesting this one might be a little bit out of nowhere for you guys here as well too not necessarily new by any means it's the sd gundam aquarius and i just kind of randomly came across this and thought it looked pretty cool especially the head design is pretty cool so probably what i'll end up using this for i'll do like a regular review on this kit but i'll probably just end up using the head and probably just kind of like tossing the body and either into my spare parts or the trash or something i don't know what i'll end up doing with the body parts but the probably will just end up using the head for like some custom kit bash sd hg kit bash kind of thing we're not making like an sd hg version of the aquarius but just using the head to make some sort of custom gunpla because uh, it's a cool head design uh, so making a 3d or a hg sd kind of custom kit out of that. Also not included in this box, but recently I did also pick up the SD camphor, which I am planning on using for basically the same thing, making an SD HD version of the camphor again, to set some future project. But I'll do a review on that in the near future for you guys too. Uh, the new Bullet Knights Exorcist kit from Megami Device, a very cool design. They actually just came out, I think, with uh, two different ones. There's the Exorcist and then, uh, what was the other one? Uh, that I, was, I just I didn't really like the design of the one. I wasn't really interested. Uh, can't forget. At, I can't remember at the moment. 
what it was again i'll put a picture there for you guys but uh yeah i didn't really like the other one too much but the extra assist here does look like a really cool kit so we'll be doing a review in the near future of this new Mega Man device kit here for you guys as well and finally oh, sorry one more thing here too before we get to the last thing which is the biggest thing we actually have actually uh the smallest thing a little led unit here a little battery and switch and led i think there's no actual light included fortunately i do have a couple of leftover led lights i was under the impression that this had the light as well too but it's just a led module is there a light in there or not i think it's just the switch and like a battery so it's basically just like a uh, lazy man's uh, led setup minus the light i guess because i'm too lazy and uh, i don't know uh, enough about how to make this by myself but obviously if you can make this by yourself you can save yourself a lot of money this that wasn't expensive i think it was like just a, a couple bucks but it's just a uh, battery housing and a switch kind of you know basic things but i'm sure pretty easy to make on your own if you just take the time to look how to do that anyway so uh, i don't know exactly what i'm going to use this for yet quite uh at the moment uh possibly in the uh, re sd kit bash that i was doing with the zakutsu kai maybe using this in that kit uh, for the mono -Y. Possibly, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, like I said, the last thing here is the largest and it is the new Machining Krieger kit here, which is not necessarily new, it's just a new version of the Luna Diver Stingray Moon Snowman version. And basically what this is, it's just a re-release of this kit. And there's nothing really different about the kit itself. It's just that in here, you have the inclusion of the new Moon Snowman patch. That you get included with that, so that's kind of like the whole reason behind this release. They've done in a couple of these releases so far. I think uh, this might be just the second one actually. There was like the Bomber Cat version of the Falk, I think. I think this is maybe just the second one. Uh, so yeah, it's the Luna Diver Stingray, which I love the design. And I actually do have the, just the regular original version of the kit as well too in my uh, collection at home. But I wanted to pick up this new version as well too, just because that patch is cool. And so I do plan on adding this to my Machine Krieger Q. As you know, at the moment I'm working on the Dachshund. And so this one will be, I think, probably the next thing I'll work on after that. But I do also have the Kraken Vogel, which recently was released as well, too, that I need to work on. But uh, between the two of those, these will be uh, next Machine Krieger kits. The Luna Diver uh, here is a pretty big kit. And also this version of the kit, I guess I should say what's different from the original version. Uh, the original version also came with two 135th scale little like SAFS. I think they're like uh, Prowler... Uh, I believe you can make like variants, either the Prowler or something like that, that also are included with it. This one does not include those, it's just the Luna Diver Stingray, so we don't have the little SAFS uh, 135th guys in there as well too, it's just this. So, uh, Anyway, that's it for this unboxing, or not unboxing, a delivery video, that's what it is. And there was actually some Gunpla in there, so we can rightly call this a Gunpla delivery video, although there's not a ton of Gunpla, but there's a lot of really cool stuff in here. A lot of simple kits, they have the SD kits and a couple of entry grade kits, things like that, that should be pretty uh, simple. That's good. It's always hard when I get, you know, a bunch of kits in and they're all like more bigger, more complicated kits because that means it's going to take me a long time to get through them. But, you know, entry grade kits and the Pokeplot kits and everything, those I can, you know, knock out those reviews pretty quickly. So that's good. So those, expect to see those all pretty soon. Uh, the Extra Assist kit, expect to see pretty soon as well too. Although I've got a number of kits on kind of in the queue, in the lineup for review in the very near future uh, regarding like Mecha Musume kits, but this one is new, so I will try to get to this one pretty soon. Uh, and then the Luna Diver Stingray, you guys probably won't see for a little while, but I will try to get to that probably in the next uh, next month or two. I should start on that, so just uh, stay tuned for that, guys. And if you'd like to see some more work in progress, or if you like some work in progress live streams like I've done with the Dachshund, again, let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see some live streams working on this. I probably will do it regardless, but especially if enough of you guys let me know that you would like to see that, I will definitely make sure that that happens once I get to start working on that. But for now, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to USA Gundam Store for making all possible, guys. I wouldn't be able to get this cool stuff and share everything with you guys if it wasn't for their support. So big up USA Gundam Store and everyone there uh, for the hard work that they do. Thank you guys all so much for your support there. Check the link and the coupon code for USA Gundam Store down in the video description below. Until next time, guys, I'll see you all later. Hope you're having a great day. Bye-bye.